Hello again. I'm Olivia. Today, thank you for joining me uh, for us to do the booktube newbie tag. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. I do have a pretty strong negative visceral reaction to the word newbie. I It reminds me maybe at best of starting Neopets, like uh, a 2000 and 2001 era word, 2002 maybe, is like whenever newbie was in its heyday and so it takes me back to that place and I, I but that's what this is called and I don't know what else you would really refer to this as new to booktube tag. So I thought this would be like a good video to to have at the beginning of my channel just as an introduction to, to who I am. The first question on here is why did you start this channel? So I think that um, it's more for me figuring out why I didn't start this channel earlier. So I've been watching booktube for close to a decade now. I remember I started whenever I was an undergraduate in college, which I think was like maybe in the first year that booktube started to like really become a thing. And at that time it was really heavily geared towards YA. And I think that if you like just search booktube, that's still what you're going to find. But um, I didn't know that there was like a booktube world outside of YA then and so whenever I was like trying to read books that was, were popular on there I kept being like why don't I like any of these books that people say you're supposed to love um but it's because I don't like YA but why did I start this channel now um so I tried to do a bookstagram just because I don't really like looking at myself. I'm trying to become more more neutral about like looking at myself. So I started a bookstagram first because I really wanted to talk to people about books, but I didn't want to, <laughs> to have to be perceived. So I tried that first and I really, I just don't, I'm gonna try to keep it up as well, but I think that this is probably more suited to how I talk um, because I feel like I can explain myself a little bit more. Um, I don't really love writing captions on pictures on bookstagram. I don't love the taking pictures part of it either. And so it's like I'm trying to do all of my the content that I actually want to do in the description, but I don't really love like having to write things in like a really interesting way and sound smart. Um, I don't think that I have terrible ideas, but the actual verbiage, I don't like spending time on that. And as well as like, I feel like it's hard to be honest on bookstagram because I feel like it's hard to for me whenever I want to post a negative review I just don't do it I just don't post anything unless I really like it because I feel like people don't always read the captions and so if you post a picture of a book and you're like you know not this book because this book is like really good but if you have like just like a picture and then you have like a negative um caption underneath it it's like this is what's scrolling past on your feed. And so all you see is kind of like an ad for a book on your feed if people aren't taking the time to read your captions. So I feel like this um, this medium is better for me in order to have like really honest reviews that, that I feel confident standing by and um, just like talking through. I don't like having to really plan things ahead of time. I just wanna talk about things. The next question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I'm not going to say that I can bring anything fun and unique to booktube. Um, I do think that in some ways I have interesting intersections of interest. So I really love books. Um, I really love film. I really love vegan food. I really love video games. And I feel like you don't always see those all intersecting. Um, I don't know. Like those are the kinds of videos that I like to watch. I watch booktube videos, I watch vegan food videos, and I watch um, like some gaming content. So 
maybe I can like pull all of those things together. Um, if you didn't know, if you haven't followed me from Bookstagram, that I have a, a podcast that looks at books and video games together. So I'd like to carry forward some of that content here. And I think that it'll actually be a little bit more fun for me to have that visual component as well. The next question is, what are you most excited about for this new channel? And I think it's just having people to talk about books with because I don't really. <laughs> I would love to like find a book club and I know that my library has book clubs and um, our indie bookstore downtown has book clubs, but I feel like it's not exactly suited to my reading interest and I sometimes I will like try to go out of my comfort zone to to just like to buddy read something with someone but it feels almost like art I don't know I would I think that I would rather just talk about exactly the kind of books that I want to talk about and not that I'm not interested in being exposed to new books but just um because that's absolutely not the case but I think just that I can match up my reading taste and get like the exact kind of recommendations that I think I'm I'm going to enjoy and like seeking out the the viewpoints I mean everyone tailors their their content to to the viewpoints that they already like in some ways I don't think that's unfair to say that I'm not going to watch um any ultra conservative videos because I have no interest I've already heard all their opinions I don't need to hear any more why do you love reading? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't have the answer for this one. I like it for um, entertainment. I like it for relaxation. I like it because we're we are all using language all the time and it's really interesting to see the ways that what we, and I'm using we, I'm using a royal we, the way that I use language in, in a, a pragmatic way every, way, every day that um, doesn't necessarily have any artistic value to it or I just like seeing the ways that language can be used not only as a tool but as an art form and I don't know I like hearing new viewpoints I know that I just said that I don't want to hear some people's viewpoints but um y'all know what I'm talking about like I'm not talking about um <laughs> I'm not talking about that I don't want to hear anyone else's viewpoint but just that um I'm not gonna explain this any further y'all understand what I mean what book or series got you into reading? This one's interesting for me because the the earliest I remember reading was my mom taught me how to read using the Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie books. And so that's the first series that I remember reading, but I wouldn't consider that a favorite series and I would never continue it. And it was just like special because that's what I was like taught to read using so whenever I was a little kid that my mom would um she started by reading the books to me and then we would take turns and then um you know as I got older that it was more just like me reading to her and her helping me out with any words that I didn't know but the first like series that I actually remember loving um were the American Girl books and the magic tree house books so those would have been like first grade and then i remember the first chapter book i ever read by myself was fantastic books mr fox um by roald dahl whenever i was a wee six-year-old so those those are like my earliest like independent reading memories next question is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers so I think this question was probably written for the YA group of booktube where there's like people who have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers that don't really connect with their audience um but for me I already 
ask questions to all of my favorite booktubers and they're all extremely nice and so I would probably ask them how are you doing today what's the weather like um got any plans you had any water today enough water probably something like that what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome honestly at this point nothing mm -mm. the the actual uploading of the first video and having my <laughs> my body be perceived is was the challenge that was it now everything else is smooth sailing hopefully i can get better at some things and i would like to get better at like editing and making things more interesting um but no, nothing that's like something to overcome. I don't have any expectations in terms of like growing subscribers or anything like that. I just wanna be able to talk about books and if I can just like even have like three friends who watch my videos and talk about books with me, like that's it. That's all, that's golden for me. When did you start reading? As soon as I could, as soon as I could. Um, I remember, I mean, we're getting is, I always loved books, always. Um, but like independently, I started reading at five whenever I was in kindergarten. Where do I read? I usually read on my couch. I would say 90% of my reading gets done on my couch. I read a little bit before bed, but I, am very conscious of keeping my bed as somewhere um, that I don't do anything to keep my brain active so that it can actually, my body will just like go to sleep whenever I get in bed. So I don't do anything in bed. Sometimes I'll read like a chapter or I'll put my audiobook on for like a 15 minute timer, sleep timer. And I usually go to sleep within that 15 minutes and have to like listen to that back the next day because I'm really good at just like getting in bed and not doing anything except maybe looking at my phone which is like the opposite of you know you would rather read a book than look at your phone and the last question is what kind of books do you like to read i like to read i think a little bit of everything um my biggest genre like the things that i'm trending towards would be horror and literary fiction, especially um, literary fiction from queer authors, um, fiction in translation. That's most of what I read on audiobook. I love to read nonfiction, usually, um, usually about the environment or art in some way, like books audiobooks that are about writing or about books, those kinds of things, memoirs. Um, I read a little bit of science fiction, but more like, just like speculative. Like I have a huge collection of Philip K. Dick books that I need to work my way through. Um, and like a a little bit of science fiction, but I would say probably mostly like horror and literary fiction. And yeah, definitely like reading stuff in translation. So that's about it. Um, I don't know. Do you have any questions for me that I didn't answer today? I, I feel, um, I feel truly like I've been, been baptized in booktube. I feel like I'm no longer a newbie after completing this tag. I hope that was the goal. Um, but thank you for joining me for this video. Please let me know if, if you do have any questions or any advice for me. Bye-bye.